No, no, no. Nah, nah, we right with you, man. By most accounts, the slave trade began in the late 80s. Uh. <laughs> Long before rap stars was trap stars, it was crack. And it was Liggy like that in Midtown Manhattan, Latin Quarter VIP room near he is in the back. With the crab pipe. Two ladies, neither one his wife, and they're about to get the high of their life like <sighs> Let there be light. Uh. Before that, there was Love Boat, backwards, embalming fluid, coke, green, and even that doesn't seem to be enough to drive the black community backwards. Before that, there was heroin, but except in Baltimore, heroin was never popular enough to do to the black community with crackwood. Heroin pretty much stuck to the seedy individuals and the artists and the entertainers and the petty criminals. Heroin never had no sell-out rappers promoted on the radio. Heroin never had no music videos. Heroin never had mass appeal, so corporate America could never figure out how to use heroin to earn residuals. Deep! Crack. Crack changed the entire hood industrial complex. Mm. So every little boy from 9 to 14 years old was thinking, yo, little Craig just got points on the package and I'm next. Jojo got sprayed last week, so I'm dressed. I earned $100 on a slow night, so I'm fresh. But he don't realize, like, the trapping black man who did business with slave ship captains, he was in bed with a monster. Mm. Ronald Reagan triangle the slave trade. Sell cocaine to black people in America. Sell weapons to Iran. Use the money to fight pro Castro communism through the Contras. Come on. The CIA embarrassed itself in the Bay of Pigs and they were going to redeem themselves in Nicaragua. So they sold weapons to the U.S. enemy easily. But CIA agents couldn't figure out how to sell cocaine to black people in America. So they had warehouses of coke in L.A. they couldn't get off. Into front state center, a black man named Freeway Rick Ross. Five kitchens to cook cocaine in the cheap box in a distribution network from South Central to the South Bronx. And the CIA was behind it, so the black community got flooded with crack. And they had to protect their investment, so the black community got flooded with gats. And old folks and young people couldn't walk the streets during the day and sleep at night because of the rat attack tap. And oh. even the hookers got undercut because black mothers started selling themselves at $5 a tap. Three for tens. The entire black community was like Satan moved in. Mm. Like the seediest parts of Harlem in the 1920s, black America became this nation's center for sin, which begged the question, if you shoot your brother at point blank range for no reason, will his insides flood his leaves? And the answer, of course, was, it depends. Not saying Freeway Rick Ross understood the long-term implications of what he was doing, just saying that black man worked with the CIA to oversee the black community's ruin. The first hit is free, little homie. That's all it takes to pull mm. you in. It's Midtown Manhattan, mm. Latin Coda, VIP room. There he is in the back. It's 11 a.m. He forgot to call his wife and kids, and he looks at the black lady to his right, and he looks at the white lady in the pipe. And he says to the sister, yo, it's free base, baby.